Hey guys, and thank you for tuning into my channel. In this episode, I will be discussing the dreaded starving artist narrative and why it's so damaging for younger, inspiring creatives pursuing art as their career. The starving artist mentality manifests itself when people say that they don't want to turn a profit because it's like selling out as a serious artist. How do you see people get over this hurdle? Steve Jobs and Jim Henson taught us that you can be creative in business and be rewarded for it. When we hold in our minds a certain ideal of what a creative person should look or act like, we put unnecessary obstacles in our path and do a disservice to the magic of creativity. Being more inwardly focused, artists have a sensitivity for what people really need even before they realize it. This is not indulging, it's showing empathy. So when you find that sweet spot between making a profit and doing what you love, then you should pursue it and find out how far you can go. At the end of the day, you're making a connection and the deeper you get with your art, the deeper your connection with the art buyer. This is what adds value to the work that you do. You have to want it so much that you're willing to forego television, movies, sleep, nights out with friends, or even exercise. You have to be willing to sacrifice a lot of what you want right now for what you want your life to look like in the future. Don't give income too much importance in creative work, but give it its due. We need money to keep the lights on and buy supplies, but it's not everything. As novelist Stephen Pressfield says, money buys you another season to create. It gives you time, which gives you options. And it's also important to create a rich inner life if you want to have a prosperous future. Much of our inner turmoil is the result of conducting a life we don't inherently desire, only because we've accepted an inner narrative of normal and ideal without ever realizing. Living in the moment isn't a lofty ideal reserved for Zen or enlightened. It's the only way to live a life that isn't infiltrated with illusions. It's the only thing your brain can actually comprehend. To ignore the opportunity of the age in which we live in is to do a great disservice to the work of those who have come before us, who paved the way with their innovation and courage. I'd also like to mention that I only paint about 30% of the time. The other 70% is marketing my work. That doesn't mean it has to interfere with my creativity. You have to experiment and see what's working and build upon that success so we can shift the saying starving artist to a well-fed creative entrepreneur. Thank you so much for joining me in my studio. For more art vlogs every month where I share my thoughts and art process, please hit the subscribe button and bell so you never miss an episode. Be well, my friends. Stay beautiful.